Alrighty, hello there, fellow coder. This is going to be the first lesson in quite a many number of lessons where I build an entire uh, web application from scratch. I'm going to be leveraging uh, from the front end, uh, I'm going to be using React on the front end. Uh, this will uh, talk to a back end, which will be a Java, uh, probably a spring uh, starter project, so it'll be a, a spring boot project that will serve as a restful um, uh, web interface. And then all this will probably be backed by a relational database such as MySQL. Now, where we go from here, now that we have an idea of what's going on with this application, um, in the real world, this is what I would do. I would read through it and I would make sure that I understand everything, right? Everything that, that is important to me, um, I need to understand everything, right? And if there's anything where I have a doubt I need clarification, um, I'm not sure about something, whatever the case may be, um, I basically send an email, right? Or, or have a conversation. Um, if there's a bunch of items, you know, maybe just have a conversation, but you'd have a conversation with someone called a business analyst. Typically in most organizations, someone has, they, has a role, they're hired as a business analyst. As a part of that role, um, a, co a coder, a programmer, will take the requirements document that we're looking at right now, they'll take the requirements document and the coder will uh, bring it to the business analyst and say, hey, I have some questions about, um, you know, what exactly do you mean by a notification, for instance? You know, I said notification, w what is a notification? Do you mean an email notification? Do you mean a text message? Do you mean um, a native app notification? Like, what do you mean a notification? That's not enough information. Can you clarify what you mean by that? And the business, anal uh, business analyst will say, oh, I mean an email notification, right? Don't worry about sending a text message or this, that, or the other thing. Um, that is, that's normal. That's normal for a developer to read through a requirements document and say, something is unclear, I need help. Okay, um, it's underlying that with red. Why is it doing that? Okay, that's just word being silly. Okay, so yeah, that's that's the point of this requirements document and this happens all the time. You ask questions to your business analyst to make sure that you have absolute clarity on everything that needs to happen here. Okay, because you do not want to make assumptions and then go and build out a bunch of features and build out functionality based on an assumption that could be completely wrong. Okay, that's the wrong move to do. If you're like an entry level developer and you you feel shy and you're like, oh, I don't know, I don't want to annoy anyone and, and ask a bunch of questions and be that annoying person who asks a bunch of questions, trust me, it's worse if you don't ask a question, spend 10 days building something that no one wants. That is far more annoying and can lead to you getting fired. So ask questions, don't be afraid to do that. All right, cool. So that's what the, the um, first thing you should do, read through, make sure that you understand everything. Now, as a beginner, if you are a beginner, the next step that I typically do is I go through this document and start to outline what is called um, a, an entity relationship mapping or diagram. I forget what it is, ERD, entity relationship diagram. Basically, it's I, I want to outline all the nouns in the document. The nouns are going to likely be either a class in Java like an object, or it's going to be a property of a class, a property of an object in my application, or it's going to be a relationship. There's going to be, well, that's sort of the next step. So first thing is outline all the nouns in the document and then start to get an idea of all of the classes and properties that exist in, in your, uh, you know, soon to be application that we're building. And then from there, you outline what the relations, relationships are between all of those objects. If this is completely foreign to you, that's okay. We're gonna do that in the next video. And I'm gonna to try to go as in depth as I can. This is a critical step to this whole process. And it's very, very important that this work is done as, as well as you possibly can. Typically this work is not done by an entry level developer, but it doesn't mean that you are excused from having to understand this process. Okay, typically this part of the, um, of the, uh, creation uh, and an outline of an app is done by a more senior level or an architect in, in an organization. Um, but again, it does not excuse you if you're an entry level developer or trying to be an entry level developer, does not excuse you from, from not understanding this 
part of the process. So that's why I will show you this part of the process in the next video, and hopefully you'll start to feel a little bit more confident and a little bit more comfortable about this part of the process for creating an app from scratch. All right, see you in the next one. Again, if you like this, and want to see more of this kind of content, please go below, subscribe to this channel. Obviously give a thumbs up if you've gotten a lot of value from this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. So take care of yourself, happy learning, and bye for now.